för er som inte har varit här tidigare så heter jag Annika Lidne. Det är jag som är ansvarig för den här lilla sammankomsten. Eh, ni är jättevälkomna, ni som inte har varit här tidigare. Och jag ska säga det också, om ni har missat det så har vi från och med eh, förra, eller ja, tre veckor sedan tillbaka, nej förra gången tror jag, eh, så har vi startat en Facebookgrupp istället för bara en sida. För det var ingen som diskuterade och alla missade meddelanden och sånt där. Så nu är ni inte med i gruppen så gå med i gruppen. Du eh, bara söka på den Stockholm Social Media Club. Så det finns en sida och en grupp. Gruppen är bättre om man vill ha, se att det kommer meddelanden. Och gärna diskutera där lite också. Eh, och jag frågade innan, vad tycker ni om spam? Och vad har ni för frågor? Och det blev mycket så här att företag som spammar är korkade. Och det hade vi kunnat, eh, tycker väl de flesta. Men det är inte riktigt det som Bernhard ska prata om idag. Utan Bertrand är faktiskt en av, du var med nästan från början på Stockholms Social Media Club. 2008 kom vi fram till, var det samma dag som din dotter föddes? Ja, precis. Samma dag som din dotter föddes. Så körde vi igång. Och sen dess har du jobbat jättemycket med spänn. Mm. Så att vi ska höra lite mer. Och sen så tror jag att det blir en väldigt dis intressant diskussion. För jag har hört lite här, många har frågor och in som lite inlägg. Ska du köra på svenska eller engelska? Uh, ska köra på engelska. Engelska? Ja. Så vi får... Så ni som vill höra den franska versionen kan prata med mig. <laughs> Varsågod. Ja, jag kör ju. God afternoon. Uh, so everybody is hearing me. Ja. Uh, so my name is uh, Bertrand and uh, I am working for uh, I Love Spam uh, Consulting and, um, and we are specialized um, in um, uh, a fraud uh, ecosystem uh, on the open web. So that's uh, our uh, specialty. And uh, today we are, we are going to, to talk about uh, one side uh, of the spam uh, industry. And uh, that's, uh, that's a site that is creating a fake uh, account. Um, the one that is uh, creating massive uh, uh, link uh, on blogs, uh, forums. And, uh, and even uh, at the end we have also a lot of scam uh, trying to, uh, to get money. From, uh, from people. So that's uh, the side of spam uh, I'm going to, uh, to talk about um, uh, today. Um, okay. Um, in the last uh, few years, um, web, uh, web services industry has, has been really uh, innovating uh, to try to uh, limit uh, spam. Uh, Within their services, and uh, what, one thing they uh, they've been starting to uh, to use is uh, cap capture. It's a uh, it's uh, a small pictures pic picture uh, that you have to de decipher uh, to uh, translate the picture into text. Uh, so uh, <coughs> the web services will know if you are a, a bot and. Uh, if you want to create, for example, a fake uh, account, of, or if you, have, uh, if you are a real human. And, uh, but uh, the fraud industry um, has been really innovative when it comes to uh, uh, capture solving, especially uh, automated uh, capture solving. And uh, so the first thing uh, they've been doing is uh, uh, text recognition uh, within uh, pictures. But then it started not to work uh, very well. Uh, so they started to use uh, human uh, capture uh, solving, uh, using workforce, uh, in, uh, first in India, but now uh, in Vietnam and uh, Bangladesh, uh, to solve uh, capture uh, in uh, real time. Um, So this um, 
this video is, has been done in uh, Hue uh, in uh, Vietnam. And uh, what we can see is a, a sweet shop where people are actually learning how to uh, solve uh, CAPTCHA quickly. And uh, by quickly, I mean uh, the good rate is 1,000 1, CAPTCHA solved uh, by hour. And, um, and for this, they're using a specific um, software that I'm going to show uh, later. Uh, <coughs> this is a company uh, hiring uh, people uh, to, uh, to solve uh, CAPTCHA. And uh, they are quite clear uh, on, the, uh, on the website that you, you will make uh, half a dollar for 1,000 CAPTCHA. Uh, so it means that uh, you can make uh, like one dollar every two uh, hours. And uh, so just to give you like uh, how much money they are, they are making. Uh, Mr. Mon, I think you should mention that the sort of poor people in Vietnam and Cambodia earn like $300 a year. Yeah, the, <coughs> the if average in India, if you are a farmer, is like two, $2 dollars per, per day. So, yeah. um, <coughs> okay. Uh, So this is one of the software uh, that uh, they are working uh, with. There is ton, ton of them, uh, different version. Uh, it's like there is, there is a market of this kind of uh, software, uh, uh, actually. So this one is for like regular uh, capture, and, uh, but it has an, another uh, functionality uh, a bit later. Uh, It's a picture recognition. So when you, you are done with your session of uh, text capture, uh, you have to select uh, pictures that are, actually this one is a cat. You have to select uh, all the pictures that have, that have cat uh, uh, in. Not a cat. And why is that? Uh, I will, I will okay. show it uh, later. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, for, for this picture I will show later. Uh, it is used also for ac account creation, the use of picture. But I, I will show it later. Uh, Uh, where do they find uh, those jobs? Uh, there's a lot of them on the uh, uh, website that, uh, ah, uh, that offer work, that are uh, matching together people who need work to be done and people uh, uh, who want to have uh, work. And usually it's called uh, data untried. And uh, so there is free freelancer. Uh, If you want to, to have a look, just write CAPTCHA and you will have all the people who can do uh, CAPTCHA solving. Um, there is uh, Odesk, uh, which has been uh, famous uh, lately because uh, it's been used by uh, Facebook to do moderation. Uh, also in India, or like, uh, like, uh, Bangladesh, uh, so you know the rate now. And, uh, and this one, it, they are not not saying that it's, uh, it's to solve CAPTCHA. They are like writing a, a st story. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you can find some work here. Uh, but usually uh, people are finding work uh, within their local community, uh, family, uh, family uh, friends, and here uh, in uh, local uh, classified. And, uh, Yeah, it's the same simple data and try uh, work from home. 
and uh, there is a uh, the company and it's a uh, well you can call them uh, if you need some work <laughs> I show you uh, a small software uh, before, and I told you there is a uh, hundred of them. But the thing is, this software uh, is working with some central uh, web service uh, with the use of uh, an API uh, in order to uh, uh, to work in real time in uh, CAPTCHA solving. And, uh, Within the, this, uh, those uh, central uh, web services, you have access to the administration uh, part. Uh, and especially uh, when it comes to rates, how much money you can, uh, you can earn, uh, it depends on the hour of the day, for example. Uh, like this one, uh, it's better to work uh, well at uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, New York time, <laughs> uh, to make more money. And it's uh, easy to understand, it's because when it's uh, uh, 5 in the afternoon in New York, it's a night uh, in India or in Bangladesh. So there is less people uh, who, can, who can work. And uh, you can get paid uh, through a, an account. And, uh, well, this is my account. I didn't make that much uh, uh, money. I'm a new newbie. <laughs> okay. Um, so what what I've shown to you is uh, it's like the back office where the workers are actually solving the capture, but. Uh, there is also the front office for the client, people who are going to buy uh, CAPTCHA solving. And uh, so there is one uh, service called Bypass CAPTCHA. And uh, if you are uh, a spammer, you need CAPTCHA solving, automated, you buy some credits to bypass CAPTCHA. And uh, the, the price uh, is from one dollar to five dollar for one thousand captcha uh, sold. So uh, there is a good a good margin for those uh, companies. Uh, another one is called Death by uh, by captcha. <coughs> they all have uh, API. Uh, so and they have uh, a good uh, technical description uh, with all example in different. Uh, computer languages, so it's, uh, so it's easy to uh, integrate uh, the services within your own uh, software. So the, the clients, uh, you can imagine, are the spammers. And uh, those are spammers who are working with a return on investment, so they are uh, when they are investing uh, one dollar to five dollars in uh, a capture solving, uh, they want to they, they want or they need to create, for example, one thousand uh, accounts on uh, Hotmail or on Google, so they can use it later uh, to spam on the uh, forums, uh, for example. Uh, okay, I, I'm just going to make a small definition of a sp spamware, and it's my uh, it's my own uh, <coughs> definition. So, uh, spamware is a desktop uh, software. Uh, it's easy to learn. Uh, it's publicly available. You can download it, uh, and uh, it's cheap. So. Uh, just to, to make a distinction uh, between the kind of uh, software I'm going to show you and other kind of software which is based on the much more advanced uh, uh, technique like uh, using a botnet, uh, malware, uh, viruses, etc. Oh, so I'll, 
our cats are, uh, are back. <laughs> um, so this is this one is a, a spray uh, account creation, uh, and uh, I took uh, the picture yesterday. So um, and uh, well, you have to to tell what is on the picture, and you have, then you have a, a, a choice. Uh, what is ah var har bilderna gemensamt? Är det gul färg, flygplan, röd färg, katter, spot? And uh, basically, uh, you can have a spam wire, which is going to uh, uh, do the registering. Look at the pictures, then call. Uh, the web service that is solving CAPTCHA and get back what kind of picture <coughs> is it? Is it a uh, flip plan, um, uh, cat, uh, etc. So you t this kind of um, registration process can, can be easily uh, uh, broken. Uh, so this one is a, a Gmail uh, account. And uh, this one is it's broken uh, <laughs> already because there is a lot of spammer uh, who need uh, Gmail control. So uh, they've been doing a lot of work to uh, to solve this one. Um, <coughs> and uh, this one is a captcha uh, in a well-known uh, Swedish uh, forum. And uh, and it's a PHP BB uh, forum. So uh, within the spam industry, uh, spammers know all the rules uh, to create account and uh, and to uh, and how uh, to create spam on this kind of uh, forum. And if there is a registration capture, uh, well, they have the tools to to break it. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, now some uh, some spamware example. Uh, the one that I think are uh, interesting and the biggest one. There, there is a lot of lot of them. Uh, there is, for example, to, to create just email uh, account, and uh, some are really specific. Some other. Uh, uh, integrates a lot of different uh, functionality, and uh, this one is Ubot Studio. It's a toolkit uh, to build your own uh, spamware. So, uh, if you have specific need, uh, you can use uh, Ubot Studio uh, to, to create the bot that is going to solve uh, your problem. And uh, Uh, so you got is easy to learn uh, as long as you are a web developer. So uh, it's not it's the knowledge needed. It's JavaScript and uh, HTML uh, basically. And what you got uh, is doing is uh, it can mimic all the activity in a web browser and then repeat it and. Uh, for example, uh, <coughs> when you are loading uh, a page, you can, for example, take a picture on this one and send it uh, to uh, um, a CAPTCHA solving uh, services. So, uh, so you can uh, use, actually, if you have some time, uh, just write you but Hotmail, some uh, research in uh, YouTube. And you will have a really nice tutorial uh, how to uh, create uh, a bot uh, that will create uh, unlimited numbers of uh, uh, email account on Hotmail. Uh, and uh, yeah, and you bot ha have a CAPTCHA service uh, integration. Uh, so that's the <coughs> one uh, I'll show to you. I think DCAPTCHA is. Bit like that now, but bypass capture and test by 
CAPTCHA, you can integrate uh, them in your, in your bot uh, if you have a CAPTCHA issue. Uh, I, okay, this one is called Clad Genius, and it's uh, to uh, automate uh, add post on Craigslist. And uh, the thing is that Craigslist uh, now has a phone verification number. So this creates a new problem for spammers because uh, it's mo much more difficult. But has this solved the problem uh, <coughs> with CAPTCHA? Uh, they are also working on solutions to solve phone verification uh, services. And, uh, you can actually buy some phone numbers that will automate the process of uh, posting uh, ads on Craigslist. Um, so this one, Scrapbox, um, it's uh, it specialized on the blog uh, posting, and uh, it's. Uh, it's a software that has a lot of integration uh, tools, uh, integrated uh, tools. Meaning that uh, there is one tool uh, called uh, that is, uh, help, which is helping you to harvest uh, URL. Uh, meaning that to find blogs that are in, that are within a subject of interest. Uh, so if you want to uh, to spam blogs that are blogs that are only talking. Uh, about laptops, uh, Scrapbox Scrap will, will do it uh, for you. Uh, this one is the uh, most famous. This is their website. It's, uh, it's been the same website for five years. They didn't change. All they are changing is a small logo here. So when I, when I say is, it's cheap, uh, well, that's that's the price. I think Scrap Box is uh, it's almost the same the same price. So this one is called X Rama, and uh, it's been responsible for the last five years of almost all um, the spam uh, comment in uh, fora, uh, actually. Uh, so spammers uh, they love <laughs> really love this uh, this software. And uh, there is a lot of different uh, functionality. And uh, there is uh, there was one guy who tried to understand exactly how it was uh, working, because even the spammer, they, they have a difficult time to understand. And uh, <laughs> so they, they make this graphic. And, uh, and it really looks like, uh, well, it's me uh, trying to calm down the, my daughter <laughs> with all the, <coughs> all the possibilities. Um, we have uh, uh, CAPTCHA solving, um, so registras registration uh, process solving. Uh, we have spamware to optimize uh, the process. Uh, what we need now is anonymity. Um, anonymity on the web, well, it's a big, uh, a big question. Um, but um, anonymity, uh, today I'm going to define it, define it uh, as hiding behind an IP address that is not your. And uh, there is many ways to, to do it. You can uh, use a, 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 a Tor network, which is a way to uh, anonymize uh, your, your traffic uh, on the web. The problem is that there is not enough uh, IP address on the exit uh, to, uh, well, to, to create a spam command. It's really, it's limited. It's not really limited, but it's, it's limited. So it's, it's not <coughs> a possibility. You can use a, a botnet. But as I say with the uh, with a spamware. Uh, spamware should be publicly available, uh, cheap, easy to use. And uh, the botnet are not publicly available. They are not cheap. 
even if they are getting cheaper and cheaper. And they are not easy to use. And uh, so uh, the solution is to use uh, open proxies. So open proxies uh, are uh, servers that are not well configured. Uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, what it can be. It can be a malware, viruses that are opening the possibility of an open proxy on a private uh, computer. And uh, there is thousands of them uh, every day. And uh, the software I presented to you, Scrapbox uh, and the uh, XRAMA, can also find uh, uh, open proxy and test them and use them. So it's integrated within the, the spyware. Spy the scam, uh, scam well. um, and uh, I've been looking at uh, some uh, logs of uh, X Rama and uh, how uh, X Rama was actually posting uh, comments on the, on forums. And uh, what I found is that uh, for a given session, like almost uh, thirty-two thousand posts. Uh, XRAMA has been using 100% of, uh, of proxy. So, spammers were using XRAMA, they're using the built-in uh, open proxy uh, system. I am running a, t a test forum to receive a lot of, uh, lot of spam uh, on it. And, uh, yeah, on a daily basis, 90% uh, of uh, uh, the spam traffic is coming from, uh, from open proxies. So this leads to, uh, well, to say that uh, we've got four legs for spam industry. Uh, defeat registration control with the solving capture, uh, for example. We got spamware to automate the process. We got open proxy to guarantee uh, anonymity. And then there is one last thing, it's a real-time uh, aspect. It means that for spammers, you have to be the first to find uh, a good uh, forum to spam on, uh, to get higher page, page rank. Uh, for example, you have to be uh, the first to find an open <coughs> proxy because as soon as an open proxy uh, is discovered, every spammer is rushing on it to, uh, to use it because it's a new IP. It's fresh, so no one will detect it. Um, so that's a, that's a really important thing. And real time is the same for CAPTCHA solving. Uh, the human capture solving that I showed to you, it takes an average of 10 seconds to, uh, to solve it. Between the, uh, the spamware asking, uh, sending the pictures to the capture solving service, and then uh, the text is coming back in 10 seconds. So it's, uh, it's fast. Um, well, the idea is that uh, one thing is that uh, if, it's, if it's going not to work as good as it is today, uh, open proxy, uh, the whole uh, spam system of commenting uh, create uh, uh, fake account, etc., uh, would be much more difficult because uh, if the solving capture uh, is not working well, of the new technique, uh, the, the, spam, uh, the spammers will find a new way to solve the issue. Uh, spamware to automate the process, well, they will post job offer on freelancer or on Odesk to, uh, to solve also the, uh, the solution. If the real time is, uh, is not working, well, it will take a little bit uh, 
more time. But if open proxy are not working uh, anymore, uh, it will be really difficult uh, <coughs> then to actually create a post or create a fake, uh, fake account. So uh, registration control with CAPTCHA, uh, you don't need it anymore. You don't need any more spamware, uh, etc. So, I believe I, I'm working uh, a lot with uh, Open Proxy, and I, that's how uh, I, uh, I I got all the knowledge about all the spamware. It's through uh, the monitoring of uh, open, open Proxy uh, network, and uh, so has uh, I've been uh, focusing on uh, real time. Actually, I am. Uh, Launching today, <laughs> uh, uh, an API uh, which is a blacklist API. So you can uh, you can match uh, an, IP, an IP address, uh, and you you can uh, you can know if uh, it's um, if it's an open proxy uh, IP address. And uh, for example, uh, this one. From uh, from Italy, uh, well, I catch it uh, this morning, and uh, well, when I took the screenshot, uh, it was uh, like 10, 10, uh, 10 o'clock. So, um, so uh, what uh, I am doing is uh, well, monitoring all the open proxy uh, activity network, and then uh, create a database that that, that the register. Uh, so it's easier to, uh, to detect. Uh, well, so you can. Uh, there is a. It's a public API, but it's limited uh, for uh, ob obvious uh, reason. And uh, but you. Uh, well, we can discuss. And I, I have some. Uh, I have some keys uh, today for the API uh, uh, to use uh, the service uh, without. Um, Limitation. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the Thank presentation. You. Yeah. What, I think, what, what I'm thinking is um, how do the, I mean, do p people actually click on these spam posts? Because, I mean, the spammers need to get their money back, or is it search? Engine ranking, they are out. Search, search engine search uh, ranking. Most, yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I forgot uh, <laughs> to, to say, but it's uh, mostly for to, in order to get higher page rank uh, on the. So it's on black Google. hat SEO. It's, it's black hat uh, yeah. SEO. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, some uh, some of them uh, are actually links, but I think like it's ninety yeah. percent. Uh, Black Hat uh, SEO. Yeah. I have a question here. Sorry? Doesn't have no follow attribute on the links? So yeah. solve that problem? They won't uh, get any SEO juice uh, from if you have a no, no follow attribute? Yeah, maybe I'm. I'm uh, we can repeat uh, that question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tom is, uh, he's actually the, the chief of uh, Sweden, the Swedish community, uh, the big Swedish forum. Okay. Uh, so he asked, isn't there, uh, there uh, no follow uh, attributes on the links? Does it work then? Or doesn't, doesn't the, the spammers go to sites with no follow yeah, on the links? Uh, well, I, I'm going to, to check this. Uh, uh, it's... When I'm talking about X Roma, uh, I'm pretty sure there, there are some rules uh, in order not to create post uh, if the forum is uh, is using uh, no follow um, at attribute. Uh, because uh, before creating accounts, uh, X Roma, for example, is uh, doing a lot of control tests uh, on the forum uh, <coughs> to. Uh, well, in order to know if it's going to be interesting or not, to, uh, 
I think we're all, all people with, most of us have blogs and, and uh, I mean WordPress gets a lot of spam comments and yeah. so on. Yeah. How do we stop it? As, as like individual blog users? Yeah, I, th I, I think that's a, well, that's a, <laughs> that's an issue. And uh, today, uh, I think for WordPress, they, they are using uh, Akismet, yeah. uh, which is based uh, I think uh, on uh, analyzing the content uh, mm -hmm. of the comment, and then some. Uh, I think they are Black checking also, also yeah. IP, uh, IP address. Listing, it's an API. listing uh, yeah. 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 But is it possible to sorry to break in? Uh, is it possible to use your API uh, to see if Post or, or the comment is posted through a uh, open proxy, or yeah, yeah. So you exactly. can use it with usual like PHP and use the yeah, okay, ex exactly. So you could build a plugin today. Yeah, basically. Uh, it can be done for real time, but also if you got some blogs like uh, historical for one year of uh, IP address, you can uh, create a, a summary of uh, what is happening uh, regarding uh, yeah, spam uh, on your website. But isn't this, there a conflict? Because I think like even there, a lot of people that have open proxies that are not aware of, of, of the issues with that, uh, becoming a, like a spam hub, uh, when they are trying to post through the proxy, they, they can't even comment either without getting any feedback. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? No. Like uh, <coughs> if someone uh, tried to post w without being spam through an open proxy, yeah. uh, they don't know why their comment is not getting posted. Yeah. However. So would it be great to like create some sort of feedback to teach yeah, people I, to I, close I down the I think it's it's up to um, uh, moderation rules and uh, of the of the website. Mm. So we do not accept comment coming uh, through open proxy. I think that Jukje should write a little um, <coughs> WordPress plugin. Yeah, you can sort of collaborate. The spammers? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, <coughs> they are buying <coughs> lists. Uh, so, and this, well, first there is. A lot of people scanning the whole internet to detect uh, open open proxies, and then once they detect them, uh, they try to sell them. But as, as soon as someone uh, has an open open proxy, he try to sell it uh, again or to uh, get some more money. So if he's buying uh, for one dollars, uh, he try to sell it for two dollars, for example, <laughs> and then use it also uh, at the same time. And then uh, the open proxies uh, are published uh, well, on public public website. So uh, and uh, <coughs> so there is a X X rumor for for example um, is uh, searching with Google to find uh, open proxies and uh, never get banned from Google. So X rumor, for example, can do like. One million search on Google uh, every day uh, to find uh, uh, URLs of forums, but also to find um, open proxy. <coughs> but but if you have a forum uh, and you do the the picture capture guess or yeah. the text capture, guess, how do you get around it? How do you stop the spam? Um, well, there, there, there are some few uh, few tricks. Uh, it's make it difficult for Xrama uh, software uh, to make your forum eligible for spamming. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can change uh, actually the code uh, of the HTML uh, page uh, to make it uh, difficult, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, moderate uh, yeah. also account uh, creation. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a there is a well, there's blacklist. Uh, you can create blacklist too. 
uh, and there is mod moderation, which can be a post post moderation uh, and change uh, the code. So you, you if you are using a PHP BB uh, forum, uh, it would be it will look for X uh, Have you seen, for instance, else. since since we're talking <coughs> social media here, that uh, there's a lot of companies uh, or sites that have started with login through Facebook or Twitter or so on. Do you mm -hmm. see that that has decreased? in the amount of spam accounts. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Probably, uh, I don't know. I, I know that uh, uh, spammers they really love t Twitter, uh, yeah. for example. But uh, I'm not really aware of uh, how uh, the account creation yeah. is done on the Twitter. So yeah. uh, well, I. I Have you know. seen any on, on blogs? There's a lot of people using Discuss, for instance. No. Have you seen that the amount of spam decreases with Discuss comments, or? Yeah, just the thing is compared to regular. Yeah, the thing is that uh, it's really difficult to get uh, information about their business, about mm -hmm. Discuss uh, business regarding uh, spam, because they uh, they want to hide it, and uh, so they are not giving a lot of information. So uh, <coughs> I think Discuss will say that uh, they are in control. Google is going to say they are in, uh, in control. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I don't have this uh, information. And, uh, oh, okay. Very much uh, the same question uh, about uh, Facebook Connect. Um, when people are starting using that, so it has a higher engagement for the user to like create it uh, and uh, keep it up. But are there like a lot of spam creation on Facebook accounts as well, or perhaps that's not the public, those yeah. figures? No. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I know that there is a lot of um, demand uh, for Facebook uh, account. Uh, we can all get rich and sell ours, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's like a, a world project to um, monitor actually Facebook uh, spam. Uh, so uh, I, I don't yeah, have exactly. them. Facebook comments has at least, I haven't seen any spam uh, on sites using Facebook Connect or comments yeah. for the system. Perhaps that's a solution that not only relying on the email uh, as an identifier for the user, perhaps having something more like open ID with a verification or something like that over a cellular phone. The thing with uh, Facebook, uh, <coughs> then it's uh, well, it's possible that they, they are moderating, uh, like outsourcing, <laughs> uh, with Odesk, for example, mm. uh, comments uh, too, uh, and then it it looks uh, the comment looks uh, okay, like uh, two hours uh, after, but maybe there have been some comments that were spam, but that last. Uh, only 15 minutes or 30 minutes uh, on the on the comments. Uh, mm. yeah. Have we no further questions? How do I get an API key? <laughs> <laughs> How do you get an API key? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're staying at our spam.com or? Uh, you just talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spam him. Vi skulle nästa. Oh, här har vi en fråga. Curious, do you know anything about what makes them pick sites for spamming? Because I have a wiki on a rather private chat, and that's spammed to death when I don't look at it for an hour. No, not an hour, but what what do they base where they're spamming on forums and Wikipedia's and whatnot? Do you know? Or oh, sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, um, I have a Wikipedia on uh, as a private project oh. where uh, we get 30, 40 new spammers uh, uh, every day. Oh. Uh, and do you know what they're basing? You know, how? What is it that makes uh, my uh, Wikipedia interest? Or is it uh, how do they get a hold of it? Is it through Google or? Where do they find? Uh, yeah, where do they find? What do they base on? Where they're spamming? Yeah, Google. Google, uh, Yahoo, uh, they are searching all day long, 24 hours a day. So, uh, and uh, also they are searching uh, Twitter. They love it. Uh, it's real time. So, uh, as soon as there is a blog post, uh, Google didn't index 
it, but Twitter, they follow the link and then they try to uh, to post uh, on the on the blog. So uh, yeah, they are using all the tools uh, available. I don't know. Have you noticed that whenever you you uh, post a few items in in succession on on uh, Twitter, you get a uh, app reply with like a lot of names and then and then uh, a link from an egg account. Yeah. I think we could have an entire session on the sort of dark side of the internet and all the uh, the underbelly. Actually, it's really interesting. A uh, bit different. And if you have any, um, maybe I should switch to Swedish. Om ni har några förslag till eh, teman framöver, saker ni vill höra, så hör av er till mig. Eller om ni själva har någonting, det här skulle jag vilja prata om, så hör av er till mig. Bertrand han bara mejlade mig och sa efter förra gången så här, hej det här kan jag prata om. Mm -hmm. Kul tyckte jag, för det var lite annorlunda, har vi inte haft förut här. Jag har inte hört om den här sidan alls okay. eh, av liksom, spam spamindustrin, så jag tyckte det var lite spännande för det hör man inte om så ofta. Så att, eh, kul att ni kom. Trevlig helg. God mars. Eh, så ses vi om en månad. Sitt gärna kvar och prata lite grann om ni vill. Tack för idag.